joining. Um, welcome. You can see we have some people joining us this evening over Zoom. So a very warm welcome to you. Um, Declan, Rajan, Ferdos, I hope, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And right. Um, welcome to you. We also are streaming this live on Facebook. So to those of you who are joining us from Facebook, um, warm welcome to you as well. Uh, we've got myself, James, here, and um, with me is Christopher and Jason, and I'll explain what they do um, in a moment. Let's just let everyone join. Okay, I think... Um, we can get started. Um, so yeah, from my side, um, firstly to introduce myself, uh, I'm James from Advantage Learn. Um, I am the one who um, has the fortune of just making sure we do the right things here in Advantage Learn. And I'm, I'm very, very honored to be with you tonight and sharing this moment in our history with Jason and, and Chris, who are our leads on the, on the technology side who have really been behind the scenes working really long hours and putting in a whole, all the hard, the hard work to get us to this point. Tonight's session is all about um, our new technology, um, our, we call it our technology stack. It's our new um, technology that we are shifting all of our learners um, over to, and um, we call it internally um, our, Delta, our Delta stack, so the fourth version of Advantage Learn. Um, but really, it's a, it's a version of Advantage Learn that you all are going to get to know as you study with us, hopefully, over the next, over the next period and use our resources that are available to you. Um, we, we believe that this is quite a step change for us, um, just in terms of the learning that we can provide, the learning resources that we can provide to you over, um, over this, um, this new campus um, that, we, um, that we have built. And tonight's session is really about us explaining why um, we have done this change um, and looking under the hood as to what this, this change is and how, um, how it is going to be beneficial for you as, as learners, um, as partners of ours, um, if you're a partner um, of ours that has joined, um, and really just, just seeing a bit under, under the hood. Um, so for those of you who are joining from Facebook and really don't really know who Advantage Learn is, um, we're... We're an organization that is really focused um, quite strongly into trying to make a difference in STEM education um, in Africa. Uh, we believe that we want to create um, a helpful place for people to come and learn um, in STEM and really become agents in the fourth industrial revolution and not objects. Um, and so we focus on some key areas um, from self-study resources to national benchmark test preparation to the advanced programs um, and exam prep in our academy. Um, and behind the scenes, we work on the technology that supports, um, supports the delivery of all the, the learning resources that we put together. So I wanted to just start off with some um, general discussion between Jason, um, Chris, and myself. Um, Jason is, the, is, is our, our, lead, our lead technologist, and Chris is our, our chief technologist. And so really honored to be joined by them, and they really put in some hard work, as I mentioned earlier. So I really wanted to just get some open discussion between the two of them to explain how we got here and why we got here. And um, so a lot of you might be thinking, well, why are you changing the environment? You know, I, I'm, you might have enjoyed it up until this point, but there really were some fundamental reasons um, to doing so. Um, and so, yeah, let me, let me hand over to, to Chris, the CTO of Ronge Learn, to just explain a couple of the reasons um, why we got to this point and are making this change. Cool, thanks James for the introduction. Yeah. Yeah, so those, those of you who've been with us for a long time uh, will have seen many technology changes over the years um, and we've been very fortunate to have grown uh, our business over, over the last seven or eight years um, and, and kind of grown the technology alongside the business. So at each, at every step of maturity of the business, we, we kind of reached another level where, with our technology. And I've been fortunate to be here for most of that journey, um, being here for just over seven years now, and have seen that that, that shift and change over time. Um, so if you if you're new to Advantage Learn, you've just seen 
the latest the latest technology, the campus that we've just um, launched it or this might seem a bit strange that we're going through this introduction of, of the new technology and, and how we got here. But for those of you who've been with us for a number of years, you would have got to know the advantagelearn.com um, and learned maths online or NBTs or our AP maths programs or academy programs through advantagelearn.com. And even though we, we were very pleased with, with where we were in terms of being able to deliver our MBTs and the Maths Online and the academies and the AP Maths programs on our Vulnerable.com and we were able to deliver it in a helpful way to you as the, the end users and, the, and our, our learners at high schools and also self-study learners who are just learning um, in their own time. We, we always strive for perfection. We know we're never going to quite get there, but we always strive for perfection. And one of the, one of the things that we were really frustrated about with, it, with the advantagelearn.com uh, technology was that it didn't enable us to really deliver it at, at, at the way we, it, it kind of restricted us because we, had, we, we were utilizing open source technologies like WordPress and other, other frameworks that, had, that enabled us to quickly get to the point where we could deliver the online learning to you in a helpful way. But we still felt that we, we were reaching these, these points of, of, of limitation um, because we hadn't built the technology ourselves. And the, the reason that we started going on the journey for, to, towards the campus, as we now call it, which is our fourth major technology change um, since I've joined on And the, that really precipitated the need for it was when we, we, started, we started wanting to deliver it in, in certain helpful ways that we, we suddenly felt that we were restricted by our technology. And we always want to provide the best learning, the, the best learning experience for you as, as the end users and the best um, and deliver our courses at the highest quality because we really strive for that quality at Advantage Learn. And we were just reaching those, those points of limitation. And um, at that point in time, this is going back about two years now, uh, our technology skills have also increased hugely over time. Um, we've, we've been very fortunate to have talented members join the team and over time, our technology skills have really, really stacked up to be uh, world class. And we got to the point where we were now able to explore the opportunity of, of building our own technology that we could then deliver the courses and have the, the, the opportunity to deliver the courses how we wanted to. And so then we started the journey. And as I said, it's been, it's been almost 24 months now. And it's, so it's been a really long journey. I don't think we really anticipated it would take that long. Um, some say we bit, bit off a bit more than we could chew, um, but we're really, really, yeah, I'm really, really grateful to be here today where we are launching the, the Advantage Learn campus on our own technology. Um, and we're going to go through the, the details in terms of what that means and, and show you the campus firsthand in this, in this webinar. But essentially, the, the, the crux of the reasons that we, we, we went for the um, we, we, that, this, that the precipitated the need for the campus was that we were reaching these limitations and we wanted to overcome them. And that's what the campus is enabling us to do. Um, Jason, uh, who, who's with, with us today, was really, really pivotal in, in terms of um, once, we, once we found we needed that, we had that need, he was then uh, really pivotal in deciding which technologies to use. Um, and so Jason, I don't know if you, you want to go th through a bit of the technology journey now that I've just, just uh, discussed the need for it. It. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Chris, and thanks, James. So, um, yeah, as Chris mentioned, we were using some open source technologies. We were leveraging WordPress quite heavily, although having said that, we did customize it a ton. And I think that we got to this point where that foundation uh, was definitely not going to serve our needs in the future. I think it was it was really solid what we managed to build on it, but we are definitely getting to the point where as soon as we look at new features, we're saying, well, you know, um, we've kind of reached the limits of what this foundation can do. So to speak to the, the technologies, I think that there's two parts that change quite a lot. Um, we're using a, a modern framework called Laravel, which is allowing us to do some really, really um, expansive things on, on the, the kind of back end of, of the application. So connecting to the database and holding out all of the, the stuff that has to happen to enable learning behind the scenes. So that's really, really helped us. And on the front end side, uh, it's now what's known as a single page application. So you'll notice as you go through the campus, there isn't really any reloading. Uh, the page doesn't have to go and fetch all the data every single time. 
it's now got that data on hand and changes feel fast and snappy and you use a whole lot less of your, your, your data to be able to make those changes between lessons, between quizzes and navigating through the campus. So I think those are, are two quite pivotal things is changing to a, a professional framework that, that we're able to expand on for the back end and the front end moving to a single page application architecture, which I think is, it's important to know at this point, it's, it's very much foundational. The last two years have been very much spent on making sure that we're, we've, we've laid the groundwork to be able to do some incredible stuff. I think the campus is in a good place now, but yeah, it's just it, the exciting stuff is where we can take it from here because we own that technology stack now. Yeah, and I think so, that's that, that's a really a key point that Jason has touched on there. It's it's that it, the the move to the new technology wasn't was it was more about what's coming than than trying to improve on what we had already. It's we we were very happy very happy with how that learning was being delivered on advantagelearning.com and. We definitely didn't feel like we were underserving our users um, at this point in time, but we, 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 if we looked forwards, we saw a lot of limitations and, and we would have definitely not been able to achieve what we wanted to achieve on the previous technology stack and the previous platform. And so going through the pain of, of relaunching a new platform, even though it might not seem to, to some, to some of the learners that it's a big leap right now, it's, it's more that the, it gives us that foundation. It gives us that framework where we can now take it to the next level and really push the boundaries in terms of online and blended learning. And that's what we're really excited for is, is what's coming um, and what the campus is going to enable going forwards. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks, Chris, and thanks, Jason. I think that's a, that's a great run up um, as to why we got to this point. Um, and, you know, our heart really is very strongly focused um, as an organization into enabling learning in the most high quality, efficient and effective way. And, and for us, when we did start this journey 24 months ago, it was an easy decision because we knew um, that we had a future coming. We didn't know it would happen as rapidly as it has due to COVID, um, but we knew that it was, there was a serious, um, a serious future coming um, in the blended and online learning space. And so we needed to create a technology foundation that can enable so much um, into into the future. So I think let's now um, actually look under look under the hood to the to the new campus. Um, and Chris, if you could likely show us around um, the features that exist currently, um, so that um, those of you who are joining us can can really get a sense of what um, what this environment is at the point now. Um, and then we can um, we can maybe talk likely to the roadmap forward, and then take some some questions afterwards. Um, and Jason, please, if there's anything that you want to add as Chris is going through, if there's anything um, you feel is necessary, jump in and, and add it. Um, but yeah, over to you, Chris. Great, thank you, James. Great, so I'm just going to, oh, I just flipped over to the, the view of the, the campus. Um, many of you will have noticed if you have logged in over the last few days that you wouldn't have seen the previous, um, the previous dashboard of advantagegen.com you would have now been hit with this completely new, um, the new look and feel of, of the, and now it's pointing to campus.advantagelearn.com. We hope this didn't come as a, as a big shock. Uh, we did try and warn our existing users by sending out a, a mail to the, to the active users on the platform. Um, and we, yeah, we really, we really pushed hard to get this over the line. So um, we just wanted to really start the year with the campus and not delay it any further. Um, it's been a long time in the, in the pipeline and we really just wanted to get it over the line. And that's why we initially launched it in a beta version. So you'll notice um, the, the little icon on the top here is advantagelearn.com and it's the beta. And also in the, the, the actual platform is called the Advantage Learn Campus Beta. We are going to be removing it, moving it out of the beta phase within the next um, two or three weeks and officially launching it as the, as the new complete Advantage Learn Campus, replacing our previous uh, learning platform as our core learning platform going forwards. And what that meant from a learning point of view is that we, we then were, had to migrate all of the existing learners who were studying maths online and NBT courses onto the campus, as well as launching all of the new programs, the AP maths programs, the academy programs, all of those onto the, the campus. So there, there is now, everything is being delivered through, every, all of the Advantage Learn offerings are being delivered through the campus, which is 
um, really, you know, we're really excited about it, and we're really excited about that we are we able to that we're able to deliver all these programs through the campus, and we're also excited for the, the new and uh, new improvements that we can make onto all these offerings um, already and also going forwards. The the naming of the campus really came about because we we thought um, that often these are called learning management systems, but we wanted our our, our, we wanted to really bring the digital uh, and, and mix it with the, the physical in a helpful and contextual way. And the way we envisioned our learning management system, which is what uh, the platforms are generally called, where you deliver online learning, is more that holistic campus, that campus um, perception where you go into a campus, a, a physical campus, and you can go to the different faculties on a campus and access the different learnings. Uh, with you, if you're in a university context, you'll have the engineering uh, faculty, you'll have the psychology faculty, you'll have the uh, humanities faculty, and you'll also have things like the security desk, the sports, um, the sports center, and the campus is really this holistic area where you can go to find your way around, get the help that you want, go and um, go and access the learnings you need, and that's what we're really trying to create here. It's this holistic place where you can log in and access what you need in the most helpful way. And so the, the launch of this, of this, of this campus was, was really the, the pivotal moment of that. And, and we really, as, as we said, trying to build that, build onto that as we go. At the moment, you'll notice it's quite, it's quite um, there's a lot of space, there's a, it's quite uh, bare, uh, you might say. And we've done that on purpose. Now that we've got it, now that it's purpose built for our learning, we try to keep it as, as clean as possible and really only focus on what you need to have. Um, whereas before we might have had some things that were, were quite legacy and, and bloated. Now we've tried to uh, keep it to the bare minimum of what you need. And starting with the dashboard. On the dashboard side, you'll, if, you're, if, you're, if you're doing one of our AP Maths programs or Academy programs, you'll see the, or the AP Physics programs, you'll see the current course and, and you should be enrolled into your course and you'll be, access, you'll be able to access it here. The course that you'll find in your dashboard is your most recent course that you've done. If you're doing more than one course, let's say you're doing AP Physics or AP Maths, then you'll need to go to the Learn area. On the Learn area, you'll see My Courses and these, this, and here you can see I've got access to all of the advantage learn courses here. And we have quite a few on offer, but my current course is still the grade 10 AP Maths Live Online course. And, and this is, so on this My Courses page, you'll, you'll be able to quickly access all the various courses you're on. You'll be able to see uh, how far along that course is, and you can click continue to actually go to the next, the next lesson that you, that you haven't um, completed in the course. But if you click on the course card, it will then take you to the, that specific course and you can access the various course details um, the course outline showing you the outline of the whole course. Um, I'll actually go to one of the, the other courses, which is an online course, um, which will be the, I'll go to the Science Academy. And you'll see here that we've really, we're already in week two of the Science Academy. So you can quickly see and access the live lessons of that, um, of that week and do the, the test of that week. And so this is your course home base where you can access any quick information, see the course outline. If there's any updates on the programs and dates and times, you can access it here. And then you can continue the course. In this case, I'm beginning the course and that'll take you to the lesson page. The lesson pages are actually very similar to how they would have been in your in your previous uh, learning management system or the, the previous platform, advantage.com. Um, we've tried to keep what worked uh, and bring it through into the new uh, campus because why fix it if it isn't broken? And we and we got a lot of good feedback from our um, from our, our previous lesson pages and how, and how helpful they were. So we we didn't break we didn't break what wasn't uh, broken. We, well, we didn't fix what wasn't broken. We kept a lot of those, um, those themes and the good elements and brought them into the campus. But as I click around, you'll, you'll, as Jason said, you'll notice the page doesn't actually refresh. If you can quickly move through the courses. Um, you can complete lessons and it, and it doesn't actually do a full refresh. And that's, we're hoping is gonna help your data usage quite a lot. And also just create it for a much more uh, fluid experience through the learning management system. If you're learning maths online, there's been quite a major shift in, in, in how you access the maths online resources and, 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 and really get to interact with maths online. 
Um, so moving away from the courses, which haven't changed drastically. Um, if you did a course of those previously, the courses are really just a repackaging and a, and a clean look and a new feel and slightly um, tweak user experience. But the, the maths online side of it is quite different. And maths online we've now repackaged into what we call libraries. Just as you would go into a library in a school where you'd go walk into a library and, and you'd have a, all the resources in bookshelves and you'd have a computer where you could search for the book you want, go find the book, take it out of the library um, and put it in your bookshelf at home. The maths library and the, the science library and the AP maths library are very much like that. Um, in the sense that you can go into your maths library. So I'm gonna click through to the maths library here. And now I've got, um, if I go to lessons here, I've got over 2,796 lessons, which I can access through the maths library. And that is obviously a massive amount of content. And we've tried to make it, just as you have categories and areas in a, in a physical library, we've tried to make it easy to find the resources you need. So if, for example, you're in grade 10, and you're doing the CAPS curriculum, you can then filter by uh, grade 10 CAPS curriculum and you'll only get the resources that relate to your grade, um, just as you would in a library if you went to a specific category. And then you can take it further and I can say, I want to study grade 10 geometry. Uh, I don't even know if they do geometry. Oh, there we go. So you can go revising analytical geometry, practice exercise two. And then I can bookmark that to and add it to my personal bookmark in my in my library and then if I go to my bookmarks here and I go to lessons I can see that that revising the analytical geometry practice exercise two is here if I want to learn that particular um, topic I can go into it watch the video and complete it and then it's complete and if I go back to my library and go to my bookmarks. I can then see that I've completed that particular exercise. Um, and so the, that's going down to the lesson level in the library. The, the libraries also contain paths and, and topics, which we've also, which, which give you more, um, which give you different levels of content. So um, paths are the highest level. They contain many topics and, and the topics contain many lessons and assessments. Um, and so if I go to topics, for example, go back to grade 10, you can now see that I've got all the various topics. So these are not, these are not as, as high level as your entire grade 10 syllabus, which if you went to pods, you could find, um, there we go, maths core grade 10. This will be, if I go into a chair, this will be every single topic covered in maths core grade 10 in the CAPS curriculum. And you can see here just how many uh, various topics are covered. So this is the entire, you could follow this entire path and your, your, all, the, all the content covered in CAPS grade 10 core maths will be covered. And if I go back here, back to the library, and I go to topics, you can then drill down to a lower level. If you just, if, if in class your teacher is going over algebra factorizing um, revision one or algebra, algebra factorizing trinomials, you can then add that to your library or go to the specific topic and you'll see all the lessons um, in that topic covered in the section here. And so we're really hoping, hoping that this is a more helpful um, uh, user experience relating to the maths online. Um, and we've got, you know, we, we've got lots of plans for the, the libraries and how interactive they can be and how and your quick feedback in that. But as you, as you go through them, there really isn't a huge difference in terms of the access to the content. The content is the same as the content that was available on advantagen.com. We obviously are updating it as, as, as time goes on. So there will always be new content, um, but the maths, the maths library and maths online are the same thing. So if you had access to maths online in the previous, um, in the previous platform, you should have access to the libraries in the new platform. And we've tried to make that as seamless as possible for you. The one big caveat is that because we made such a massive technology change, your, your progress in the, on, on advantagelearn.com was not carried across to the, the, the campus. So there is going to be a little bit of loss of, of progress if you have been with us for many years and tracking your progress um, over those years. And we really do apologize if, if, if this is going to be um, a major issue for you. But if you, do have, um, if you do have content and progress that you want to track or see where you were on the previous advantagegen.com platform, 
we can give you access to advantagegen.com and there you'll be able to see your old progress and then start from where you left off um, in this new year. And then talking about progress, one of the last areas of the, of the campus, which I'm going to dive, on, dive into today, is the insights area. And this is one of the areas that we're really excited for going forwards is how we can make your insights and progress tracking much more helpful. You'll notice just in the session today, I completed um, a few live lessons, uh, a few lessons here, um, and I can see my activity. I've completed three lessons today. Um, going and I can select a date range so I can go back in time and see my progress over the last um, month. And you'll see there, um, I've actually completed uh, assessments and lessons in the past. And then if I wanna drill down, this is more for general activity on the platform. If I wanna then drill down into specific uh, topics and, and lessons that I've completed, I can then go to my progress and see how many courses I have in progress, how many lessons I've completed, um, and then even go down to the various levels of the, the content and see that algebra factorizing trinomials have only done 14%, one out of seven activities complete. I can see when I was last active and then go view, uh, view that specific unit, or I can go and resume the topic and actually continue learning it um, from where I left off. And so we're hoping that this progress area is gonna be a lot more helpful um, than, the, than your previous tracking of progress in the past. And the, the data side of it is what we're really excited in, in terms of being able to give you helpful data insights um, as well as enable that, that learning over time. So you can see if you've been with us for a number of years, how, you, how your progress has tracked over those years and really get, get um, helpful insights into your learning. Um, yeah, I think another important note of the insights is also, you know, if anyone who's a stakeholder in your learning, we are trying to enable the foundation for that too. So if you've got a parent who's really invested in, a parent or guardian who's really invested in your learning and following you, you know, we are, we are on the path to giving some really useful access and insights um, should you choose, um, choose that to be available to your parent or guardian. Um, so Chris, mm -hmm. I think we'll, we'll overview that quickly. Yeah. Yeah, so talking to your profile and, and the stakeholder profiles and that, if, if you go to the view profile section at the bottom left here, you'll see you'll be able to edit your email address, change your password. This get password reset link will then um, give you a link which you can follow to then reset your password. You can update things like your first name, last name, phone number, or your profile image. Um, so very basic details um, are available to change here. And then the learner following was, a, was, what, was, was, was what James was touching on. Um, and that's where you can, give someone access to follow your learning, just how you saw the insights that I showed you there. If you have a, a, state, a parent or guardian who wants to track your progress or a teacher who wants to track your progress, you can then come to the learner following area here and you can either add a new follow of your progress or request another learner's um, progress to follow. So you might even choose to buddy up with a learner at school and say, I'll track your progress if you track my progress. You can then follow each other's accounts and then track each other's learning over time and see how your, your peers are doing. Um, or if your parents uh, or guardians want to follow your progress or your teachers want to follow your progress, you can also add them and they will then be able to uh, log in and, and access your, uh, your, your insights um, and track your learning over time, which is, which is also a feature we had on the, on the previous platform, but now we've really tweaked and refined that, bringing it into the new, the new campus. Um, if you have purchased any, um, any products or courses on advantagegen.com, you can also access them on billing, your billing profile. And this will take you back to advantagegen.com where you'll be able to see your order and subscription history and, and make any uh, changes there. So with the separation of the campus from advantagegen.com, we have separated out the learning from the e-commerce um, and that's been a helpful differentiation, but you still can access both uh, from the same platform. So there's no change in your login details. It's the same login details you had before, and you'll just be directed to the campus.advantagegen.com. And but then you can switch between the two and go back to your billing profile on advantagegen.com. Um, I think that's, that's the main thing. There's one other, well, there's two other uh, last things I want to touch on, and that's the, the support. So obviously, we, we, we always try and provide the best customer support we can to you. 
Uh, we really do want to help your learning journey as much as possible. With this platform, we are expecting to break, we have broken a lot of things, we are going to break a lot of things, and we all, we're constantly launching new features. So if you do notice any bugs or issues, whether it's on your mobile device, or on, your, on your laptop or your tablet, you can, um, you can quickly tap the, the little chat box in the bottom right hand corner, and you can send us a message. And this will then send a message to our support team who can then start a live chat if it's during working hours, or it'll, it'll, it'll ping us a notification and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So if you are having any issues, uh, please don't hesitate to contact us, especially over this time of this launching this new uh, campus. We, we, we expect there to be um, a few teething issues and we really would appreciate as much feedback, uh, helpful feedback as, as we can get from, from all the users. And then the, the, the last uh, addition is the notifications on the platform. So whereas previously uh, you could contact us, but we couldn't really reach out to you within the platform. Uh, there wasn't, a, it wasn't really a space for us to reach out as coaches, facilitators, um, the support team, the, the tech team. We've now um, integrated notifications, so in-app notifications that, that can come through your campus and be delivered to you and you can read them. When you do receive a notification, they will be on the top of your dashboard or they'll be available in this notifications area. So if you click the little notification bell, or any new notifications will pop up in this area and you'll be able to mark them as read. And you can expect things like um, you've got a new learner, you've got a new follower of your learning. Um, we've made it an update or tweak to the, the campus and this is what you can expect to see from the new features. Um, your course has started, your course is, is, being, um, is, is coming to an end, your certificates are ready, those kinds of notifications will come through to you um, over time in this area. And we're expecting this to this area to really uh, be helpful to you and get that engagement from us, whereas previously it would be sent to your email address and it might get lost um, or you might not, not log in and see it. But if you logging into your campus, you can now expect to see those notifications and really get updated instantly um, and timelessly. So I think that's all from my side, James, um, unless there's any other areas of the, of the application you want to talk about. Yeah, no, thanks, Chris. That was a really great, um, great dive into, into the new campus. Um, and yeah, a big thank you to you and Jason for being here to walk us through it tonight. And I think we've, we've covered a lot of the, the core the core features and the, and the core areas of, of the campus um, that have been built and, and really put in place to enable better learning forward. I think an, an important note here before we dive into maybe some question and answers from um, those of you who are with us tonight um, is that the, this, this whole solution, this, this platform, as we said, this campus um, is really is really underpinned by um, a whole team of caring humans, um, caring humans who build this technology and try and make it be the best it can be for all of you, um, caring humans who support, you know, do technical support, do teaching support, do coaching support, educators who create the content and the resources and the live classes. There's a whole lot of people um, surrounding this, um, and and so, you know, this is not a static. This is not a static online learning environment. This is a really working and living and breathing online learning environment that we are so excited about. And so for any of you who are, you know, journeying into this new campus, um, at any stage, if you're feeling, oh, I'm, I'm a little bit overwhelmed, I don't know where to start, or, you know, I don't need this, there's that, as Chris showed you, that, that chat widget is right there um, in the bottom right-hand corner, um, but there is, there is also a whole team that, that will then you've got access to via that chat or over email that can support you and help you decide where to start or um, where to focus. Um, we've got a team of math teachers, science teachers that can really help. Um, so, so do know that this, this technology is really, um, is really surrounded and supported by a lot of caring people um, for, for all of you, which um, and we're just so grateful that we have this opportunity to really interact with all of you and, and possibly help you. Um, through your, your STEM learning journey. So yeah, I think without, um, without any further delay, we've got a great insight and look into, into the new campus. 
Um, let's see if there are any questions um, that anyone wants to ask. If you do want to ask a question, please feel free to do so. Um, we'd love to hear from you if you're comfortable um, with actually coming online um, and hearing and, and actually um, chatting to us about it. Otherwise, you can type in the chat or you can raise, um, raise it in the Q&A. Um, and we can we can then get a question a question um, from you there and try and answer it. If there are any questions, please um, please feel free to ask them, and we'll do our best to answer them. I think while we wait for for the first question, um, I guess a, a a question to um, to Jason. Um, so Jason, this one's um, pointed to you. Um, I know that you you mentioned at the start uh, that this this is a a single page application um, that Chris then touched on through his kind of um, his walkthrough um, into the into the campus. Um, but you know, for you as 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 a lead technologist on this um, alongside Chris, what what does that really mean for you in the next in the next two to three years? Let's look at, let's look two to three years forward. What does that mean for you? What what benefit are these are these learners going to get from the us putting that structure in place now? Cool, thanks James. Yeah, so I think that there's a couple of things that that enables. Um, I think one of the key differences what, when you start going down an architecture is you start differentiating from being just a, a website with links. And that starts opening up some really exciting possibilities. So one of the things which I'm looking into at the moment is that Microsoft Teams has uh, possibly a, a really easy way to integrate now with the campus. It's something we're going to look at and see if it's possible to do. A lot of schools are using Microsoft Teams already, and they have the ability to load up web apps within Microsoft Teams. And building on a single page application, uh, if you use that type of architecture, it's very easy to bundle it almost as an app. Um, another thing which I think is definitely going to be quite exciting in the next couple of years is enabling far better handling of being offline. So maybe we won't get to the point where 100% of the app will operate offline, but we definitely already have our foundations and are working towards getting to a point where if your internet drops and you're busy going through the campus, it can continue as it was with a notification saying, hey, you're offline, you know, and as soon as you are back online, it just updates the information that uh, you're missing while your internet connection is flaky. And I think in the South African environment, that's definitely going to be a huge uh, plus point, which is enabled by the architecture we're using now. Yeah, absolutely. No, that's yeah, that would be huge for our learners um, and educators and partners using using the campus. Um, thanks, Jason. And and I guess you know my, my next question to both of you. This is I don't know who who wants to go first, but. Um, you know, you, you've been working so hard on, on this over the, over the past two years. Um, what, what, is your, what is your favorite feature on the campus right now? Um, and what, are you, you know, what is your favorite fa uh, feature on the campus right now? And then let's, let's look a little bit forward and, and just think, it's a bit of a hard question, but what do you think your, your, your favorite feature in the, in, the next, um, in the next six months or year will be? Um, so what's your favorite feature right now? What's your favorite feature that might be popping up in the next, in the next six to 12 months? Tough I'll, question. I'll start. Yeah, so it is a, it is a very tough question. Um, definitely, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the, the library as my favorite feature right now, just because it's, it really enables us to deliver our content to to multiple contexts so we can we we have a we have a maths library that's not sitting on the campus.advantagelearn.com there's no none of that content that's available in the maths library is actually sitting on the campus right now it's being delivered to the campus from a maths library and that just enables so much in terms of efficiency and and taking all that weight off of the campus um, and allowing us to really, really concentrate on, on having that consolidated library where we can up update and, and keep um, you know, really helpful and then deliver that, that maths library into not just Advantage Learns campus, but multiple campuses. So if, if you're joining us from a school that, that's part of our Neo Series program, we can deliver our maths library into their campus um, and keep it updated in one consolidated place 
which really enables us to to Im have an impact on on learners across the country in multiple different contexts across southern africa even and that that was never really possible on the previous um on the previous technology stack of, of bonus.com so that i think has to be my favorite feature right now and what favorite features to come I think the, the list is endless and quite daunting of, of what we want to achieve with the, the campus. Um, but one of my, I think my favorite features to come would be the, maybe the note taking on the lesson pages where we want to be able to not just make the learning passive, but more active and bring it, bring an interactive element where you as a learner can also add your flair to it, your flair to how you learn. I know that back to my school days, everyone had a different notebook. Some people had pencil scribbles, some people had 10,000 colors in their notebooks. And when you bring that, when you bring the note-taking uh, functionality into the, the lessons and the, and the learning that you, that you are doing at home, you can then bring a little bit of that flair. You take notes and, and take the information in a different way to someone else as a learner. Um, so you can then, you know, make those notes and you know, we, we, we're, really, we're really in the process of designing and architecting that thought and hopefully in the next 12 months you'll see some significant features not just the note taking functionality but so much more and that's and that's really the power behind the campus is that we now can think big and then then hopefully deliver some great great features for you learning on the campus yeah, thanks chris jason your side Sure, yeah, so I think my favorite feature is such a simple one, but I think it's just going to be so helpful and that's it's we call it the impersonation feature. So what would happen previously if you had an issue is you'd have to chat to the support team and then there would have to be this dialogue of okay so you if let's say you're missing access to a course, you would have to let the person know that so let our, or one of our helpful support team members know that and they would have to go kind of look around and try check and see what access you have and figure out exactly where the problem is whereas what we've enabled now and this is a good thing to be aware of is if you have any issue or something doesn't quite look right they can almost impersonate where they can see exactly what you see on, on the screen and see exactly what you have access to and it's way easier than to work out what problems you have so I think it's not, it's maybe something very small and simple, but it's something that we absolutely couldn't do in the previous technology and something I'm quite excited about just because it makes, it makes it easier to resolve problems when we have something like that. Uh, I think my favorite feature going forward, it's hard to say one that's different to Chris's, eh? I think I'm also really excited for the ability to take notes, to bookmark things, to be able to, um, just as soon as I'm, I'm, I'm learning something and I've had a thought or something's been interesting to me, to be able to take that note and to be able to get back to that later is a thing that I find very, very important in my own learning. And I'm very excited to bring that to the campus. Well, those are great insights. Um, thanks. Thanks, Chris. And thanks, thanks Jason. Um, I think we don't have any questions through, if, I, if I'm noticing correct, uh, correctly. Um, so I think let's let's close out with um, you know what's what's just a high level what's next from here um, for for the campus um, in the next in the next short in the short to medium term um, and um, and then we can we can conclude um, tonight's session so yeah what what what's next from here for for the campus um, and the resources that are being deployed through the Advantage Learn campus. Cool. So I'll, yeah, I'll start and Jason can can touch anything I've missed. So as we mentioned, we've been pushing really hard uh, to this point to get to get the campus to a, a place where we can replace advantagelearn.com and the learning side of it with, with the campus. And what that has meant is that we've been delivering on new features and adding on um, lots of, yeah, lots of new functionality in a very short amount of time just to get it over the line. And while that's very helpful in terms of getting it launched, it does mean that we've we've got to a point where we there's been a lot of um, small niggles and things that have that have built up over time, and we want to now get to now that we've launched the campus and the users are using it, we want to go through a period of probably three to three months um, where we can consolidate, um, iron out any any creases, any issues that that pop up over this next time, and really just consolidate the the features that we've 
that we aim to that we aim to get out and so that your your transition into the campus is as smooth as possible um so you can't you, you i don't think you can expect too many new features over the next three months it's more going to be the stability stability around the actual platform that's that's live and also stability around launching new features because we we want to launch new features and not break anything on the campus so you, you don't come to the campus one day and it suddenly isn't working we want to get to a point where when we launch new features it's done in the most helpful and consolidated way and with the new technology stack like we've got it's quite um it's yeah you know, it's there are so many great tools out there and processes that enable us to launch things and, and have peace of mind that when we launch it goes smoothly so the next i'd say three months is just around that consolidation so we can get to a point where then when we launch new features, we can launch them with complete peace of mind that they'll be launched safely and, and your learning experience won't be affected in any way. But then post that three months, so once we've got to that point of stability and consolidation, we can really then push the boundaries on getting those new features out, getting that feedback from you as the learners, and getting feedback from your teachers um, if, you, if you're learning with the school, um, and also uh, feedback from our team members. And then really, yeah, you know, just pushing out, um, I'd say the notes feature is quite a big one, coursework feature where we can prescribe learning. So you don't just, you aren't just limited to what's in an actual course uh, and you aren't limited to the outline of that course. Teachers can also, and your coaches can, can really personalize the learning experience as you go through a course and pick out the areas where, and, and identify and pick out the areas where you are, where you are struggling as, a, as an individual and then um, prescribe that that specific area to you as an individual and then track your your progress over that 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 kind of spe specific topic or area that you were struggling and enable you so it's not just this blanket approach which you get in a classroom environment where there's 30 learners one teacher and you just get dealt with the the teaching that that happens in the classroom and if you're struggling or ahead of the class it's not really it's not really individualized or personalized to you Whereas we're really hoping to get to the point where we can do that in the online context. And then, yeah, just improving on the, the online, uh, the, the offline capability, improving on the, the, the app and the kind of look and feel of the app, and then also honing on the insights, giving you the power to gain insights and also track your learning in the most helpful way. Um, Jason, I'm not sure if you want to add anything in terms of what's coming. No, I don't think you've missed any any major features. Uh, I, I definitely think we're we're very open to feedback. We'd love to hear what's important to you and what matters to you in learning. And yeah, so it, with this being a great foundation now, like we'd love to know what what you'd like on the campus, what you'd like in, in these platforms. So feel free to post your stuff and I promise you we will listen. <laughs> we will. Yeah, no, thanks. Um, thanks, Jason. And thanks, Chris. Um, it's, it's probably a good point uh, um, to, to close off with um, that, that, that Jason has made is that this we see, we see this, this platform as ever learning and ever growing. Um, and so the more, the more feedback we can get from you as learners or educators or partners, whatever, you, however you are using um, our campus, um, it would be really helpful to hear from you the good, um, the bad and the ugly. Uh, we want to hear them all so that we can really make this um, as good uh, an, an experience um, and as helpful a, a tool or solution um, as possible um, for, for all of you. Um, so yeah, I really want to just say a big thank you to, um, to Chris um, for letting us see under, under the hood on the campus tonight and for walking us through it. Thank you very much. Um, it was very, very helpful. Um, Jason as well for, for being here, um, sharing your insights and, um, and letting us know the different parts of the platform and, and elements as we've gone through it. Really appreciate your time as well. And to Michaela, who's also um, supported behind the scenes, um, a very big thank you to you as well. But most of all, to all of you who joined us this evening, um, we really do hope this was a helpful session. And we know it's a lot of detail to go through um, in, in, in a semi kind of abstract way where you're not actually able to interact with it. Um, you're just kind of watching. Um, so we do understand, um, we do understand that you know you really get that experience when you when you start to use use the campus. But thank you so much for joining us. We hope that you've got a, an overview of it and you can see it how it fits together and why it exists um, like it does now um, and where we're hoping to take it. And I think. 
um, you being here is really beneficial to how you're going to use this forward. Um, and we're really grateful to all of you for, for coming this evening. So those of you joined on Zoom, thank you. To those of you who've joined on Facebook Live, thank you as well. Please stay safe and healthy in these times. Um, and yeah, as we always sign off, happy learning. Happy learning on our new campus. Thank you, uh, Jason. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Michaela. Have a good evening, everybody.